Hey, hey, and welcome to Monday. So for April, what I'm going to do for you is a little series all about actually embodying your human design. I had someone amazing say to me just the other week, she was so done with learning. She's so done with learning because it's not living it. It's not embodiment. And this wasn't just human design. This was everything. And I definitely feel like this is a trend. This is a direction that we're all going in. We want to have greater experience, embodiment, integration. So April's all about embodiment and integration. So how do we embody our human design? The first thing we have to do is understand two fundamental things about our design. Number one, it's about getting out of the head and into the body. So we want to start to really practice resonance. Does it feel true in our body? Um, how is our body responding to what we're learning? Are we actually practicing listening to our body as opposed to our conditioned and default setting of constantly going back to the mind and the stories that we tell ourselves? That's number one. Number two, we want to pay attention to resistance because wherever we're resisting ourselves, our design, life, this is where we are again operating from the head. This is a place where we are not fully embodying the lesson that we're here to learn okay so resistance is showing us where we're out of flow state okay so pay attention to where you are in resistance now the next part is to start to really embody your design with type and strategy type is all about the way you use your energy. Okay. So we've talked about type in the past. Um, if you need help, go back to the podcast. We're going to leave the details for them below. And what you want to do is you want to start to get to that, like what resonates with you. So what resonates with type? What feels true for you? What's that lit up feeling if you're a generator? Um, what's that source moving through you feeling if you're a manifester? What is that? What is a obsession with something as a projector or what does an invitation look like for you um, and for a reflector what does it feel like to be around these people and places giving yourself a lot more time this is where we want to start um, this is where we want to practice for manifestors and manifesting generators are you informing? What does informing mean? It means that you are declaring the direction of your energy, not asking for permission. That's something different. It's declaring the direction of your energy. So we want to start just with those simple things, resonance, moving from the, the mind to the body and identifying where we're in resistance and out of flow or in flow. Um, these are the places that we want to start. Go try it out. See you next week.